Bipolar Rollers, welcome back. Thanks for keeping this channel alive. I appreciate it. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps support what I do. And I'd love to keep making more videos for you guys. As long as I see that there's a demand and you guys are into it, I'll continue on my way. I uh, wanted to talk today about uh, a question that I was asked uh, by email that I finally got around to uh, making a video for. And that is, how did I find out that I had bipolar? And uh, to be honest, it uh, came through a pretty horrific time in my life. Um, I was fighting to see my uh, daughter and uh, just dealing with the nonsense from the, uh, you know, the new partner of the ex and uh, just being turned away at the door and just be, having life made extremely difficult for me and just trying to maintain, you know, a relationship or, or you know, you leave phone calls, or messages and stuff. She didn't get any messages, uh, wouldn't let her answer the phone or, or uh, wouldn't tell her that I called, things like that. I hit an all-time low, I was very depressed and started acting out, you know, um, I started self-medicating and uh, just trying to figure out how to get around this horrible depression, you know, uh, because as some of you know, um, when uh, games are played with custody or you uh, have trouble seeing your, your children uh, due to uh, resistance from the ex-partner, it takes a hell of a toll on you, uh, depression-wise. So I actually uh, went to the walk-in center at uh, the local university here uh, to uh, see a psychiatrist because I needed somebody to talk to. And I felt like nobody could really relate to what was going on. And uh, after what seemed like only a half an hour, 45 minute discussion with them, I suddenly had uh, the, uh, my exit uh, barred by uh, the hospital security. And they, uh, they apparently felt that I was uh, suicidal. And uh, so they kept me for uh, what they call suicide watch here. Uh, over the weekend where they did more thorough analysis and uh, that's when I was first told that I, I had uh, bipolar disorder because uh, you know something tragic that got me there got me uh, diagnosed you know got me analyzed uh, so it was a pretty horrendous time for me um, depression when it starts spiraling out of control and you're thinking of hurting yourself or, or wondering you know, will the world even miss me if I'm gone? Um, that's definitely a good time to reach out for help. Even if you feel like you're being forced to, uh, um, you know, cooperate, that sort of thing. Sometimes we don't know what's good for us. And uh, it was really hard to have my parents uh, be told what was going on and for them to come see me at the hospital. And that's when they really realized that there was something horribly wrong, you know. Um, I know that my uh, mom, I have a strong feeling that she is bipolar. She's never, as far as I know, never been diagnosed. They're very old world. My mom's in her 80s, so um, that kind of stuff came with a lot of negative stigma. I mean, sure, it still does, but it's a little more accepted now. Back then, it was, you know, it was, you were crazy, basically, and, and, and nobody wanted that title. So my mom might still be in denial about her uh, mental health and, and uh, I don't know if my dad had mental health issues but I know a lot of the times these things are hereditary mm -hmm. so it couldn't hurt to know a little about your uh, family history to give you a kind of an idea of where it originated um, so that's how I found out I had bipolar and I never really took it that seriously I think I was more intent on focusing on the depression aspect and trying to beat that because uh, my daughter was my world and I took it really hard when uh, I was being kept from her so um, and then uh, and then I just my life just kind of spiraled out of control after that point you know because you, you just stop caring about yourself when you lose a part of you it feels like and uh, and she was definitely a part of me so um, so I'm curious, how did you guys find out that you were bipolar? 
you know, did, uh, you know, was it mentioned in passing by uh, friends or family? Was it suggested to you? Were you diagnosed by a doctor? How long did it take you to see a doctor? I'm curious about your stories. What led you to find out that you had bipolar? How would you deal with it? You know, how did you take the news? I know for me, I, I didn't take it as seriously as I probably should have because um, I didn't know much about it. And uh, I had other things on my plate and it, uh, it was distracting. So I wasn't really concerned about my mental well-being despite all the years of uh, self-medication. It just kind of uh, takes some of the pain away, you know? But uh, I would love to know how you guys found out you were bipolar and how you handled it and what you did about it. So please leave that in the comments and, uh, and any ideas that you might have for other videos, things you might want to know about, things you might want me to discuss in a future video, please, by all means, put them in the comments or email at me at ftgusinger at gmail.com and I'd be sure to get to your email as soon as possible. Have yourselves a great day. The bipolar Rollers represent.